area of common region of intersecting circles. There is a question before us and uh, I'll suggest that you pause the video, you give it a try, then we can look at it together. Okay, good. Now, let us try to look at this question together. This is a question asking you to find the area of the shaded region. We are told that the diagram above shows two circles with centers A and B, that is shown. The distance between the centers is 12. Find the area of the shaded region. Now looking at this question, there's something that is missing. We've not been given the common chord. We've not been told how long that common chord is. So that presents us with the first challenge. So how will we do this question? So the best place to start from will be to try and sketch out a region from the diagram. And the region I'm talking about, allow me to label here D, C for purposes of solving. So the region I'm talking about then is this triangle here. Just extracted it from our diagram. So the measurement of AB, we are told it is 12 centimeters. DB, we have it as 8 centimeters. And AD is 6 centimeters. So you see, for us to be able to solve the area of common region, what we need are the angles because without the angles then it will be a bit tricky to find that area so the angle i want us to focus on is this angle i'm labeling x remember there are two of them so we need to find one x and then we can double it so our x is right here now the best way to move will be to use a cosine rule The cosine rule will help us to get the value of x. So I will say my opposite side, because then I'm looking for x, I will put my 6 outside. So 6 square is equals to 12 square plus 8 square minus 2 times 12 times 8 cos x, that is cos x. <clears throat> now, uh, of course, 6 squared is 36. 12 squared is 144. 8 squared gives us 64. Then 2 times 12 times 8. This will give me 192 cos x. So of course, uh, 144 plus 64, if I add, it will give me 208. So I'll bring 208 on this side, that is 36 minus 208. The other side, I remained with my 192 cos x. So 36 minus 208, this will give me negative 172 being equal to negative 192 cos x. So I'm going to divide by 192 negative, that is on both sides. So cos x becomes 0 0.8958. So my cos inverse will give me the angle 26.39. Now, like we said, for me to get the angle at B, I'll simply need to double my answer, the value of X. So when I double it, my angle at B 
becomes 52.78 degrees. So I'll just write it here. 52.78. It's important. We shall use it at some point. So having done that, I'll have to move now to finding the next angle at A. So the angle at A, of course now I have my angle, angle X, we call it as 26.39. So I can decide now to use, uh, I can decide to use sine rule, though it's okay if you want to continue using cosine rule. So for me, sine rule looks like the easier option. So here, now I'm talking of the angle 26.39. And remember this is my B, that is my D, and this is my A. So, <clears throat> if I want to use this um, sign rule, it is simple. I'll simply, let me call this angle Y. So that I'm also looking for why I'll double it to get my angle at A. So cosine rule allows me to do the following maneuver. I can say 8 over the sine of y is equal to, we are going opposite, so it's equal to now 6, uh -huh. 6 all over the sign of 26.39. 26.39. So if I do my cross multiplication, of course, I'll have 8 sin 26.39 being equal to 6, the sign of y. So to remain with the sign of y, I choose to divide both sides by 6. So the sine of y, therefore, becomes 0 0.5926, 0 0.5926. So which means my sine inverse will give me the angle 36 point, point 0.34 degrees. So if I double this, my angle at A becomes 72.68 degrees. So now we'll write our value for angle A, 72.68. So we just put it there. We are going to use it now. So the next thing now, we are going to find the shaded area. So as you can see, I have split the two circles. So I'll call the first circle, I'll call it circle A. And if I can find the area of the shaded region of circle A, and the area of shaded region of circle B, and then I add the two areas, it will therefore give me the area in question, the one that the question is asking us, the combined area, area of common region. Now, let me start with circle A. We know that uh, area in this case is always given by area of sector minus area of triangle so if we can start with the the first one we will have the angle there we will use 
0.68 all over 360 times 22 over 7 times 6 times 6 minus a half times 6 times 6 multiplied by the sine of 72.68 so if we do this one it should bring you to an area of 5.66 centimeter square then now we move to circle B again we now use the angle 52 this time round 52.78 but the procedure is the same divided by 360 and multiplied by my pi 22 all over 7 then I'll multiply by 8 by 8 then I'll subtract a half by 8 by 8 multiplied by the sine of 52.78 this one brings me to an area of 4.01 4.01 centimeter square so in conclusion the shaded region the shaded region will therefore be the sum of 5.66 plus 4.01 which brings me to 9.67 centimeter square so that was, is the expected solution for that question. Thank you very much and look out for the next video. Thank you.